Black. Black Beaver. Is that right? a bit of a strange name. We haven't had uh, one like that. That is my Cheyenne name. I'm Are a full-blooded Cheyenne Indian. Full-blooded Cheyenne Indian, and you're known as Black Beaver. Right. All righty, fine. We'll presume there's another name that you use otherwise, but this is certainly good enough. Where are you from? Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Fine. Well, we'll use Black Beaver if it's all right with you. Okay? Fine. Uh, Black Beaver, the panel. The panel, Black Beaver. Will you come with me now, please? And sit right down here. Do you know how we keep score, sir? Yes. Fine, if you do, let's let the folks at home and our friends here in the theater know exactly what your line is. <laughs> All right. Panel Black Beaver is salaried, and let's begin the general questioning with Dorothy Kilgallen. Uh, Black Beaver, uh, may I call you both names, or should I call you Black or Mr. Beaver? I'm not quite sure. <laughs> Both names. Oh, all right. Uh, Black Beaver, you have an exceptionally fine physique. Do you do anything that might be considered athletic? No. No, I don't think so. One down and nine to go, Mr. Sir. Black Beaver, you're salaried. Uh, do you work possibly for a non-profit making organization? Yes. You do work for none. The reason I ask that is you, you have a keen look. Are you, have you anything to do with the... Uh, the apprehension of criminals of any kind. No. Two down and eight to go, Miss Fred. <laughs> he was an FBI man. No. Black Beaver? I want you to think of me as white mink. <laughs> I, I, I have to ask you to forgive me, but I didn't understand what the tribe was. Which tribe is it? Cheyenne. Cheyenne? Do you hold a position of importance in the Cheyenne tribe? No. That makes it three down and seven to go. You should. Sure. They're making a terrible mistake. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Peter Lynn. Did you have to have a reservation to get into this country? That'll be all. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm just joking. My son said that Christmas Day, and I thought it was rather attractive. Um, are you... Uh, did we establish that he was connected with athletics? No. The question was asked in was that not, area, and a negative answer was given. Are you connected with any uh, branch of the government? Yes. And you said it didn't have to do with law enforcement, is that right? That's right. Is it the federal government? Yes. Federal government. Federal Bureau of Indians, <laughs> FBI. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, would you have anything to do, say, for instance, uh, with a Congress or a meeting of some sort that would contribute to the welfare of the Indians? No. Four down and six to go, Miss Kilgallen. Are you a member of the armed forces? Yes. That is your current job? Yes. Um, you do have a keen look. Do you operate any sort of a um, naval or airship or have anything to do with the operation of a naval or airship? Yes. No, I just have to find out which. Which? Uh, is it an airship? Yes. Uh, is it a special... Are you a pilot? Yes. Yes. That's right, Dorothy. Actually, oh. I think we have to give it to you on that. More specifically... Jet? Second Lieutenant Lawrence Hart is a jet fighter pilot with the United States Marines. Lieutenant Hart, if we may now go to the name that you use every day. How did you get into the uh, Marine Air Corps? I went through the aviation cadet program. Ah, uh, fine. You like it? Oh, yes. I really love it. There's an old uh, Marine friend of mine, uh, Lieutenant Colonel or Light Colonel or Lieutenant Colonel Andrew Gear out in the West Coast. Do you know him by any chance? He's written a lot about the Marine Corps. One of the finest books on the Korean War was written by no, Andy Gear, as a matter of fact. The New Breed. But it's about Marines, and you ought to get a hold of it because you... Have good reason to be proud of your service, and uh, I think Andy Gear has written the story very well. It's been rather been out for a few years, but uh, I think you'd like to read it. Thank you very much for coming to see us. And uh, do you have any relationship at all with the Cheyenne tribe now? Do you go out and participate at all? No. You don't at all. You just the Marines take all your time. Yes. They usually do. Thanks very much. It's nice to have you with us. Because...